Tito. This guy. Ah. Uh, this guy. Um, what can you say about Tito? You can't say anything bad about Tito. Tito always treated everybody with respect. Even if you were a jerk, he still treated you with respect. You know, the, he's a godly man. That's what he knows. Wrestling. This is one of those matches, folks, that you want to be here live for. We're here every Sunday, 6 p.m., North Portland Eagles Lodge, 7611 North Exeter, Portland, Oregon. There's Lone Star, one of the favorites here. And tonight... conflicted tonight two of their favorites here against each other and what the heck is that that Big V is wearing well we all know Big V's a little off his rocker so you never know he's been coming out with a different mask every single week lately I think he's getting ready for Halloween and it looks like even Bob that ridiculous sock puppet monkey is wearing a mask as well. Well, the amazing thing is, is he feels with that crazy sock monkey talks to him. Now, the crazy part is Bob talks back from what I hear. Now, this is a very interesting match tonight, folks. I mean, both of these guys, the fans love them both. Love to see these guys come out. This might actually be a fairly clean match. Although you never know when you have a beast like Big V in there. Wasn't that long ago that he was truly a monster. He's a little tamer now, but he's still big, strong, and brutal. Yes, he is, and there he was showing his power right there. I don't believe the man knows how strong he really is. Yeah, even helping Lone Star up just about pulled the man off his feet. Lone Star has years and years of experience, many title belts behind him. He can brawl, he can wrestle. Sometimes I've even seen him fly, although he doesn't do that as much anymore. But in BCW, he has not been against men as big and as powerful as Big V. He might have to fall back on some old skills that he hasn't had to use in a while. Well, that might be the only way to, to beat that monster. But look at this, he keeps trying to tie him up and use power on him, and you cannot use power on that big guy. But Big V is playing it clean. He's not running in there and taking advantage. I know I would. Well, I personally have recently found out what it's like when you mess with Big V. He hit me over my head with a steel chair twice, busted me wide open. And I saw pictures of that. That was pretty gruesome. And then we had to have people that come out and drag me out of the ring, or I believe he may have killed me that day. Now Big V looking extremely protective about his, uh, his ridiculous little sock puppet there. Oh, he's very pro uh, protective of that. If you grab that, you, you're in trouble. And now he's asking Lone Star to apologize. I guess Lone Star got too close to him or something. Oh, shaking hands, there we go. I guess there's honor among Muppets. Of course, once again, he looks like he's going to try to use some power. There, Lone Star is using a little tactics there. 
Well, he needs to get the big man down off of his feet so he can't use all the power. That is true. Right now, that wrist lock, he does not have the kind of leverage you normally would have with that kind of move. Big V is just so much taller. And you see Big B, he, he raked the eyes, then he felt bad about it. <laughs> Old habits die hard, I guess. I mean, I keep hoping the entire time Big V was teaming with uh, wonderful Zach Winters, the whole time I was just waiting for Big V to snap. Hey. Wondering if Zach had made a huge mistake putting his faith in this man. I don't know, seeing the Hello Kitty mask, I'm not so sure anymore. I think well, maybe he has gone soft. Well, I don't know about that. You know, sometimes I often wonder just how good his medication is because I, he's just one, one false move away from snapping on somebody and somebody's gonna get really hurt when he does. Yeah, and if anybody knows that, I guess it would be you, Lovejoy. Now that's exactly right. All right, now again with the uh, with a wrist lock, but Big V is so huge, so powerful, I don't think it had much effect. That clothesline has him wobbly, though. Brings the big man off his feet. There's that experience for you. But look how quickly he was up. I tell you, that he scares me. And I don't say that about many men, but that man right there scares me. And of course, when he's wearing the mask, we can never quite see what's playing on Big Vicious's face. We can see his mouth now, so we can see a little bit, but normally his emotional state, we're totally in the fog. We can't see anything. Huge shoulders into the corner. That could have bruised his sternum right there. Certainly might have knocked the wind out of Lone Star. But that didn't, that could have. Huge slam. Lone Star seems at a bit of a loss of oh. what to do here to keep advantage. Well, that was a good move there to get out of the way of that because if he hits that, it's over. Lone Star needs to take advantage of that. And see, he got him back up on his feet. Don't let him back up on his feet. You have to keep him down. Yeah, very. See? This is what I'm talking about. Yeah, Lone Star uh, very slow with the reaction. Maybe it's that whole, we're all friends here and they don't want to hurt each other. Don't do it. I'm going to tell you, he's going to snap. Okay, that's crazy. Lone Star is definitely messing with a beast that he's not used to messing with. I don't have any idea what's going on in Big B's head right now. You and I, we've been around for a long time. I've never seen this. Oh, he got the kitty right between the eyes. Look at that. Three hard shots with a right hand, and it didn't phase him. But Lone Star kicking out after that huge headbutt. Almost anybody would have been dazed from that. That's a lot of leg to come down on you. We felt the shockwave all over here at the announcer's table. These men are playing it too respectful, though. It's almost not even a wrestling match as we know it because they keep pausing between moves like they, they don't want to hurt each other. But this is wrestling. You, you could use a move to pin somebody. I know that's not really Big V's repertoire, but sometimes we see that come out of him. He's been learning from someone. Well, I believe if, if wonderful Zach Winters was a big, uh, big positive influence on Big V. That is true. We've seen them use some interesting tag team maneuvering that I don't think I would have seen from Big V otherwise. And now there's that big chin lock driving his knee right between the shoulder blades of Lone Star. And Lone Star, I don't know how he's managing to do that. Actually managed to push Big V off his balance, off his center look of balance. At, look at those ropes bend when he goes against them. That's how big of a man he really is. Oh, when you're that tall, every time you hit the ropes for whatever reason, you have to be careful or you could tumble right over. If that gravity goes too far up to the top, you're gone. Lone Star backing him into the corner, getting up some steam. Big avalanche clothesline there. He's gonna do it again. Oh. 
That had got to hurt. Full speed right into one of those big tree trunks of an arm. Whatever you say about Big V, if he, you say he's not that intelligent, you say he's unstable, he certainly has some, some reflexes there, some instincts. Knew that he had to get out of the corner and take Lone Star down. Oh, here comes with his choke slam. If he hits this, it's all over with. Right he's here. He's taking a little bit too long, I think. Going, going for that super kick, but missing. Big V actually managing to dodge. We know Lone Star and Buddy Highway right now are arguing is who has the better super kick. Couldn't I wouldn't be chopping this man because all you're going to do is upset him, just like with the punches to the head. Into the ropes. Lone nice. Star has to stay on him. Nice little spinning mule kick there. There's that, some of the old Lone Star. Huge punch. Lone Star putting in a, a whole sequence of maneuvers there. Still not taking Big V off of his feet. Such a hard, hard thing to do. Oh, that big boot to the head. I felt that. And it feels like your head is going to come right off of your body. I can certainly agree. I felt that one, too. Not from Big V, though. I think his might be worse than anything that I've ever felt. Lone Star managed to kick out of that. I can't believe it. I know this man is tough, but he has taken a lot of punishment here. And Big V is definitely the man that can deal out some punishment. And here he goes throwing him off the ropes. Oh, that would have been in trouble. And there's Big that v is super down. kick. Big V is down. He would have pinned him while he's got a chance. And he did. Lone Star. The experienced veteran managed to take out the giant Redwood, the crazy man, the unstable one. If I was Lone Star, I'd get out of that ring before he gets up. He may get up in a very bad mood. That's certainly true. This might be, this might be the breaking point that sends him over the edge. And I, for one, would love to see that. When Big Vicious is the, is the true Big Vicious that we all know he is, he's the scariest man in the Pacific Northwest. I've seen little kids run from him in the past, and now they run to him. But if he ever snaps, I hope one of them don't get hurt. He's not stable. I keep wondering who had to pay how much to give him a wrestling license in Oregon in the first place. Well, I'm sure that somebody somewhere put up the money for that guy to wrestle. That well, looks like we're not going to see it today. Big V just sort of saluted Lone Star there, showing that there's no hard feelings. But I'd love to see him just go off right now. So there's your winner, one half of the BCW Tag Team Champions, Lone Star along with your NWWA heavyweight champion, Big V. Everybody's happy. Rainbows and unicorns. Bah!